Ignis Nun. Um, Lou, greatest guy over here. If you don't know Lou, greatest guys over here. Um, it is an honor to be here. It is an honor. When Val contacted me and said, would you uh, like to be a speaker in, at the first scholarship? I said, it would be an honor. Because this guy behind me, he's behind me. You might not see him, but he's behind me. <laughs> it's one of the greatest human beings I've ever met. I know a lot of people say that when people pass, but he is really one of the greatest human, being, human beings I've ever met. And when I was sitting home, I was thinking, uh, what am I gonna say? How am I gonna inspire these young, great human beings who will inspire us? I said, Pedro, you gotta, you, gotta, you know, you gotta give me some kind of help here, man. <laughs> and I always imagined his smile. Because if you never met Pedro, I'm gonna tell you, that guy's smile, it don't matter what you were going through, mm -hmm. always took you there. He always, always made you feel good. He was a phenomenal soccer player. He was a great dancer. Yes. And I remember when I was at the Cape Running Club one time, I was sitting in the corner, I was tired. We had a, a soccer tournament. He said, let's go dance, let's go dance. I was like, nah, man, I'm tired. He goes, crazy? All these girls in here with their boyfriends? Who's gonna dance with them? <laughs> Say, Pedro, you're the best, man. But the best thing about him, he was a lover of life. Like he loved to live. He would do anything for you, but he always put a smile on your face. Not because of things he would say to you, because he was very charming, but the way he lived his life. Every time I spoke to him or saw him, it was just always a great thing to be around his presence. So like I said, it's an honor to be here to speak, and especially being the first time that you guys are doing it, so that's even better. Um, gotta thank God for where we are. Gotta thank God for where I am. You guys uh, she just kind of give you a little background of who I am and where I come from. A um, little struggle when I was younger, but I made it. I want to congratulate all the honorees. And I'm not going to say your whole name because in here we're family. So I'm, I'm good with nicknames all the time. So uh, once I say their names, everybody can put a hand together. Not once, just until you feel like you want to stop. We have Joe. Woo! Yeah, Joe. Woo! Manu. Woo! Naya. Woo! No, 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 it's nicknames. It's not Asia. I know it's not Asia, but we're going by nicknames. I mean, you need everybody. Nah, all right? She's Naya, my daughter, so you'll be nice. <laughs> Steph. And Lana in the back. <laughs> so, what I want to impart on you tonight is success in life. You guys are just becoming adults, 18 years old, 19 or whatever. Um, have a long life to live. So I'm gonna give you about six pillars of how to maneuver through your life, and uh, especially college. First is who. You have to ask yourself, who are you? What have you done to look at yourself and say who you are? You need to do that every day. You need to self-evaluate every day. The self-evaluation is what's gonna take you to another level every time you wake up. Because if you wake up and you're not evaluating yourself, you're not getting better. So self-evaluation, who you are, is a very important thing. Second one, what? Figure out what your calling is in life. I thought I had one, I thought it was soccer. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. <laughs> like I was telling these guys over here, and, and Carlos knows, because we went to the Southern together, I thought I was a real good soccer player, right? I went to Western 
First year, transferred over. I went to Southern. I saw those players. I said, this ain't my calling. <laughs> but as I continued on, I found my calling, which is writing, because it, it came so natural to me. So find your calling. And your calling sometimes could be a difference between your gift and your talent. Like I'm gifted with writing, but I'm talented in soccer. But you also have to be careful that your talent doesn't take away from your gift. Mm. Sometimes I, I, I'm supposed to be writing on my second book, but I want to go play soccer. Yeah. So my talent fights me to take away from my gift. So you have to be able to surpass that. I think the greatest day of your life is when you realize what you're here for. So find your gift. Find your gift. And your gift is what you're good at without trying. Whatever you're good at without trying, that's your gift. You just have to work at it and perfect it, but it'll come, trust me. Where? It's the third one. You have to sometimes think back to where you came from. You didn't come from struggle. I'm sure your parents did or your grandparents did. So you have to mentally and physically evaluate where you came from. Because if you don't know where you came from, if you don't know the struggles of your parents, then you won't know where you're going. Mm -hmm. And it has nothing to do with what's going on in the presence. It has to do with what's going on behind you. Because you live every day. So where you came from, it's gonna take you to where you're going. When? Take risks. You gotta be able to take risks. Certain risks. Some people say that you do things when your heart is in it. Sometimes you have to do it when your mind is in it. You have to be careful of peer pressure, especially going to college. Because I'm telling you right now, when I got there and that freedom hit you, <laughs> that freedom takes you to a new level. It'll make or break you. It almost broke me until I realized I wasn't going back home. <laughs> My mother wasn't having it. My mother was all education, education, education. So take the risk of having fun while you're in college. You can party, you can hang out with friends, that's fine. But your priorities have to come first. Your education has to come first. I know you hear that everywhere you go, but your education really does have to come first. Why? I think why is probably the most important one. I'm gonna tell you why, why is important. <laughs> why is why you do things. Why am I going to work? I have to pay my bills. I have to hear her mouth about things that she likes. Okay, your why it's your daily, daily thing that keeps you going. All the other ones are very, very important, but your why is the most important one for the simple fact that you're doing it for a reason. And your why is gonna take you to what you are here for. See, sometimes you're, you're writing, like me, I'll give you a personal experience. I write, I can tell you, I, I go to bed like, four or three in the morning every day because I'm writing, right? It's my why, because I know my writing is going to inspire people. That's why I'm doing it. It's not for self-gratification. It's not for people to pat me on my back. It's not for me to be invited here to speak, but it's for inspiration. Then you have how. How is what your plan is going to be. How are you gonna to go to college and, and get it all done? How are you gonna get your work done? How are you gonna prior, prioritize your time? How are you gonna make time for your family? Who are you gonna inspire? And when you do, once you're doing that, you have to remember to look at your parents. Because no one makes it here by themselves. 
So how you treat them shows how you were raised. You need to be thankful for them. Because I know, I know just about 80% of the people in here, and I'm telling you, they're all hard workers. So I know their children are gonna have a lot of expectations. And this scholarship expects a lot. It's not pressure, it's just expectation. We expect you to do well. We expect you to go out into the world and represent your family, your community, and what you were here to do. So once you have all these things in order, sometimes it's gonna kind of throw you know throw you off sometimes, and uh, 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 people are gonna come and and push you to borders that you don't feel comfortable with. Sometimes your uncomfortable places are the ones you need to be. Because that's just gonna teach you the greatest lessons in life. I learned that the hard way. I hated schoolwork. She hates reading. But I pushed her. And my mother's voice was always in my mind. So that became part of my why, part of my how, part of where I'm gonna go, and when I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to be doing. So your life has to revolve around all these things. I know it's a lot because you're young, but you're full of life. Sometimes we look at you guys, we don't talk about you, well, not in front of you. <laughs> we wish we were your age, and then we don't. Because we've gone through it. So these are pillars in your life that you have to apply. And please understand that we are always watching. Always watching as parents. <laughs> and we're our village, like I said at the beginning. I gave you a nickname, not because I didn't want to pronounce your name, and it's not any part of disrespect on that note. It's because I want you to know that this scholarship is a family-oriented thing. I speak in different places, but this right here is family. So I need you to understand that you are representing us. I don't know most of you, the recipients, but now I am part of you. So you're representing not only the scholarship and your parents, but you're representing those that you didn't know that you met tonight. So find your calling and do what you're here to do. And always put God first. Always put God first. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know I was going to be the keynote speaker. I thought I was just going to say a few words. <laughs> but um, the spirit of this guy is so strong that when I see these guys, Lou, all the older soccer players that used to play with him, it makes me feel good. You know why? Because I'm part of that family as well. I was a little younger, but I'm still part of that family. So that's what your job is, to represent the family that is giving to you. Now you have to give back. You have to mentor. You have to speak your mind. I want to say thank you very much for having me. Um, just go out there and do your thing. All right? Go out there and do your thing. Yes, I'm educated, but I still grew up in the hood, so I, I speak a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but go out there and do your thing, for real. Make yourself proud. Make your family proud. Make your parents proud. But like I always tell my daughter, it's great that I'm proud of you, but it's greater when you're proud of yourself. So make yourself proud and make us proud. I know you will. Thank you very much.